NFL gambling picks for week number four. Brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi, the South's premier sports gambling destination. You can uh, watch and wager on any of these games at any of Tunica's five, soon to be six, and it will be six this weekend. Incredible sports books, Horseshoe, Gold Strike, Samstown, Hollywood, First Jackpot, opening on Friday, 11 a.m., September the 28th. The sports book at the Fitz. We're going to be down there. Come down, hang out with us, shake our hand. Let me shake your hand for watching the video. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, by the way. Uh, picks contest. Let's go on and jump into this. Go to winningcureseverything.com. Well, first, go to tunicatravel.com and check out all of the wonderful sports books and whatnot down in Tunica. And then go to winningcureseverything.com. Hit that football picks contest. It's free to enter. Go check that thing out. This week, we are giving away a two-night stay at Sam's Town in Tunica, along with a $100 dining certificate at Twain Steakhouse and a $50 free slot play. And you can watch games. That's all I'm saying. You can go to you go to Sam's Town, get your hotel room, walk over to the sports book. You can hang out, watch games all day Saturday, all day Sunday, like whatever you want to do. Up to you, up to you. But the uh, the picks contest, winningcureseverything.com, up in the top right corner. Last week, Tim D from Hilton Head, South Carolina, he went nine and one. If you're gonna join this thing, you better bring your A game. Do some research. Nine and one is pretty strong. Nine and one is real strong, considering pretty everybody strong. else was terrible, terrible. So let's jump into the picks. Uh, Chris, I'm gonna let you go first on this. Well, we both went three and two last week. I, I always forget to give the records. We it's went right. three. Both both of us went three and two last week. The week before, we both went three and two. First week, you went four and one, and I went three and two. So I'm nine and six right now. You are ten and five. We have not had a losing week yet. And I don't foresee that happening this week because I feel pretty good about some of my stuff. We Jump both in. got the same game. I have no idea which way you're going. I have a feeling I know which way you're leaning. So I'm going to go with that game. Thursday night football, Minnesota Vikings go to L.A. L.A. will have no home field advantage because they just don't come out to watch football. Vikings fans will go down there. They're going to support that team after that butt whipping they took in Minnesota. They're going to go to some nice warm weather. They're going to enjoy California. They're going to go to the game Thursday night. The Vikings are going to come alive in this game. This is what they were looking forward to. I got them as a live dog to win it. I will have money line buddy, money on it. I saw them at seven earlier. I took it at seven. Samstown, I think, has got them at six, six and a half. Samstown is six and a half for the Rams. I got them at seven as well. I'm taking the Vikings plus the, any number that I get. <laughs> any number with a plus on it, I'm taking them. Because I think they can win the game. I got the Vikings at plus seven as well. Uh, I think they might have been caught looking ahead last week against the Bills. Uh, look, they let games against Green Bay and the Bills get away from them. They're sitting at 1-1-1. One, one, and one. They should be 3-0. and oh. The Rams haven't played a defense anywhere close to this one. I think Minnesota's going to come out live. Live yep. dog like you were talking about. I think they could win the game. Seven points seems like a lot right here. I know the Rams have looked unbeatable. The Rams have two weaknesses. Both of those weaknesses are things that you have to do to stop the Vikings. They can't stop the run. The Vikings, you got to stop the run. They can't pressure the quarterback. The Vikings, you got to pressure the quarterback. Yeah. You can't do those two things. You can't beat the Vikings. Yeah, I agree. I agree. All right, so yeah, I've got the Vikings plus seven. You got the Vikings plus seven. What's uh, game number two for you? I'm going down to Arizona. And this is hard pill to swallow. Some of these bad teams. But I like these rookie quarterbacks. You know I was really high on Josh Rosen. I think he's going to put some fire into this offense. They're plus three against Seattle. I don't think Seattle's a good football team. I definitely don't think Seattle's going to win a single game away from Seattle all year. I think Cardinals Dang. get their first W. They're not going to win a single game away from... No, if they finish 8-8, eight and eight, they win all the home games. That's just how it's going to go. Okay, okay. I think the Cardinals get the first W. I got them at plus 3. I think they win the game. They I like get the it. first win. Money line for that is plus 150 if you want the Cardinals on the money line, by the way. According to Samstown. Game number one for me, Buffalo plus 10 at the Packers. I know... You're riding this Sean McDermott train. I, I know that I said I was not going to bet on the Bills... Until they showed me something. Well, they showed me something against the Vikings. They looked good. 
Uh, confidence can do amazing things, and last week provided plenty of that for the Bills. All of my metrics say that this should be about a three- to four-point line. Green Bay got humbled last week. The Packers only run for 89 yards a game. Buffalo only gives up 80 yards rushing a game. Like, I think Buffalo can slow this team down. I don't think Aaron Rodgers is right right now, and we've talked about that for weeks, and he's still found a way to come out and play well against the Vikings and come out and beat the Bears, and that. but they have not been world beaters. And I don't think that they are going to be able to cover 10 points against another NFL team. I just don't buy it. Think Buffalo's feeling good about themselves? Give me, give me the Bills plus ten. Going down to Dallas. Ooh, I'm gonna fade Jason Garrett until Jerry Jones fires his ass. <laughs> that's this year. That's next year. That's the year after. As long as he's on the sidelines clapping those hands, I'm going the other way. The Lions got their mojo back. They got some swagger back. Matt Patricia finally showed those guys. Hey, don't be soft. When I get on your butt. When I make you run, when I yell and scream, I do things that, that the old coaches didn't do. You can't get mad about that. You just got to get better. Yeah. And winning's fun. And beating up on New England Patriots, that's fun. That is fun. You're going to go to Dallas, you're going to beat up on Jerry Jones. You're going to beat up on a bad Cowboys team, a real bad Cowboys team. I agree with that. They're plus three. They're going to win that game. Yeah, you like these dogs, don't you? Yes. You're taking a lot of road dogs, yes. though. Uh, I'm just taking dogs. All I, points. I can understand it. Game number two, or three for me, Texans at the Colts. I got the Colts minus two. Until the Texans stop making absolutely terrible mistakes, I'm going against them, uh, especially at a division rival. The Colts are only giving up 4.1 yards per run, 6.5 yards per pass attempt. The Colts are 2-1 and one against the spread. Texans are 0-3. Uh, look, my metrics say the Colts should be four-point favorites. Texans are giving up 7.9 yards per pass attempt. Andrew Luck is going to have a huge game here. I like the Colts less than a field goal. I mean, give me a break here. All right. Take another dog. (laughs) Home team, Tennessee Titans. Told you earlier, if you listen to the podcast, you've already heard this. The Titans are going to be ugly in every game. Yes. I know Wentz is back. I think the Eagles are going to get better with Wentz being back. It doesn't matter. doesn't matter. When you play Mike Vabel, he is going to pull you down into the garbage. <laughs> you're going to leave there. You might win the game. You're going to be bleeding. You're going to stink like ass. It's going to be bad. <laughs> Everything about your life is going to hate. Even if you get the W, I get, the, I get plus four. The combination between Blaine Gavert, Marcus Mariota will be enough to get field goals. I, I like the Titans. All right, Sam Stone has got a three and a half. You still like three and a half? Yeah, that's just that's just all the local people betting the Titans too. That's fine. <laughs> that doesn't matter to you. I'm going to bet most people aren't going to get it at three and a half because nobody in the country is betting this Titans team. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, Jets at the Jaguars. Game number four for me. I got the Jags minus seven and a half. Look, the Jags basically rode in a win. They just overlooked the Titans, which is ridiculous to do against the division rival. Uh, but I also think that the Titans kind of own Jacksonville. I said that earlier. I think the Titans own Jacksonville. Um, but the Jags got embarrassed last week. Like, that's not a team that they should be losing to if they're going to be a Super Bowl contender this year. Sam Darnold, a rookie, going against this Jags defense. Uh, this is going to account for defensive touchdowns. I, I wholeheartedly believe that. Uh, the Jags will be looking to prove a point after last week. Both teams are only giving up set, uh, 5.5 yards per pass attempt. So I think this is going to come down to the running game. I trust the Jags O-line more than I do the Jets. I don't like Sam Darnold in this spot. Oh, it's going to be a rough game for yeah. Sam. Jags, I know it's a lot of points, minus 7.5. Don't think it matters. I think the Jags are going to put up a whole bunch of points, and I think a lot of it's going to come from turnovers. My last pick, everything I know about watching football for the last decade tells me the Raiders are the play. They're not going to start off the season 4-0. They're just not. John Gruden has been doing this for long enough to know how to figure this stuff out. As much as I think he's a joke, he's got to figure this out. Cleveland hasn't won back-to-back games since they've got a new team in 1999. Like probably. since the merger. <laughs> like I don't, I don't know that that's a true statement, but I'm going to say it and assume that it's probably right. Okay. They did make the playoffs once, like, eight years ago. With Butch Davis. 
No, they were. Uh, it was after Butch Davis, too. Was it? Yeah, they made it after that. Hmm. Anyway, you throw me off. Sorry, I thought I, Butch Davis was like 2006. I don't care. Or three or four. I don't, or I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I'm, I'm riding this Baker Mayfield train until it just stops. The Raiders are going to get no pressure on him whatsoever. They're going to be able to run on the Raiders. They're going to be able to throw on the Raiders. This is going to be a high-scoring game from the Browns side. But that Browns defense, that's a top three defense in the NFL. Yeah, that's, Thank you very much. That's that's a bad dude. And, and David Carr, Derek Carr, which car is it? I don't care. <laughs> Derek it don't, Carr. I don't care which car you're driving. He's going to wreck it. They, Miles Garrett is going to destroy these guys. I look for Denard Avery to have a pretty good game. I, I just think I love Avery. Going oh, my be, God, I love Avery. And Ward, I was wrong. I was wrong. I don't like drafting cornerbacks that early. Listen, the boy can play. The boy can play corner all day long. He's leading the NFL in interceptions, and he's a rookie. Yeah. He's going he's gonna to get a couple more off Derek. That was your last game. That's it. That's five. Game number five for me. I got the Bucks plus three at the Bears. Metrics say it should be the Bucks minus one, so wrong team favored for one. Uh, but look, it, yes, it's going to be difficult to go in and play against Khalil Mack and that whole bunch. Soldier uh, Field will be rocking. Yes, that's, it will be that's rocking. That's one thing that... Fitzpatrick has thrown for over 400 yards in three straight games. That has never happened before in the history of the NFL, which is bananas to think about. Uh, the Bears are still uh, they're having trouble scoring. You can't have trouble scoring against good offensive teams, even when they have a bad night like the like the Bucks did against. I mean, they gave the ball away three times against the Steelers, still scored 27 points. Like, the Bucks' biggest weakness is their pass defense. The Bears only average 178 passing yards per game. That's only 5.1 yards per pass attempt. That is awful. That is atrocious. That's ungodly. I just, I can't even, I can't explain how bad that is. Uh, Trubisky is not going to be able to do anything even against this Bucks defense. Like, I, I know they ain't got a good defense, but, I mean, they've been playing some pretty good offenses here, uh, and I don't think the Bears are one of those. So the Bears will be all hyped up and whatnot. The Bucks are coming off of a loss. I still like this Bucks team. Plus three. Give me the road dog. I think they can win this game outright. That's it. That's all of them. I got all dogs. We gave you everything that you need to know to be a winner. Head over to Tunica. Get some action down on your favorite plays. As always, visit tunicatravel.com for more information. The road dogs last week, by the way, just a little tidbit. A five dollar parlay for those six dogs that won out right last week would have paid over ten thousand dollars. Money line parlay for the six underdogs, ten thousand dollars. Well, you couldn't even get a parlay on the Bills because there was not a Bills money line out there in Tunica. Yeah, because it was so ridiculous, so ridiculous. Either way. Go to tunicatravel.com. Go enter the football picks contest at winningcureseverything.com. Go win you a free trip, man. Go win you some steak. Go win you some $50. Is nice. st- yeah, it is really nice. It's it's fantastic. But for real, go enter the contest. Hit that subscribe button on YouTube if you have not done already. Hit the subscribe button on the podcast if you have not done so already. We'll see you guys next week.